Hi, my name is Alvin. Hi, my name is Alvin, and I'm sorry, but you can't actually hear what I'm saying in the video because I forgot to bring my mic on the trip with me. So basically, I flew Virgin Atlantic 787 Upper Class from Hong Kong to London Heathrow, and I'm going to document the experience as best as I can. So to know how it went, keep on watching. The Virgin Atlantic Upper Class cabin features 31 seats in a 111 configuration, so my footage here wasn't perfect, so I'm going to share some photos that I've otherwise also shared in my blog. This configuration is rather ancient, it's been here for a long time, and uh, each seat faces the aisle, so it's not very private. Uh, even though they do make flat beds, you can actually see the people that are sitting next to you. The left seats face the left side aisle, so they're actually more private, and that I was seated in one of those seats. So that made for a more private flight than if I was seated in one of the seats on the right side. Make sure you're at the seat. So here's the TV, it can be stored. Right when we got into the air, we were served chips that were room temperature. I find that to be kind of cheap for an upper class product. I'd expect them to be at least heated, but they were delicious, so I'm not complaining. This also came with a lemonade, which was pretty refreshing. So uh, the meal has arrived. Uh, I've accidentally taken a couple bites out of it before I remember to take any footage of it. Uh, this is a tomato and mozzarella salad. That's a, I believe it's a butternut squash soup. This is delicious. I wasn't expecting this kind of mozzarella. Uh, it's more like broccolini balls. Whereas um, I, the um, photos I've seen from other vloggers has shown like legit mozzarella. We'll try the soup. The soup is uh, really good. It has a really prominent butternut squash flavor. I feel like they added a, 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 a bit too much herb on top of the butternut squash soup, which is otherwise delicious in itself. It kind of ruins the texture, but otherwise I still really like this dish. This is Atlantic Cod. Uh, there's a sauce over it. I'm not too sure what it is. It's probably going to be on text on the video. Oh, 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 oh. this is the joke. This feels very dry. Okay, it's a little bit moister on the inside than it is on the outside. It's very crusty on the outside, but, but it's not the skin, so that's not a good thing. Okay. I'm into the flavor, and the texture is not flaky off, as you'd expect to be a perfectly cooked piece of fish, but um, it's not bad, as in it's still moist and it's still perfectly edible. Okay, this last course is my dessert, which is apple and I think cranberry tart. It's dusted in vanilla and it smells amazing. Oh, it's soft. Oh boy, this is going to be simply delicious.
You actually stop hearing me at this point because of how awkwardly I placed my camera, but that was a sinfully de delicious dessert. Uh, the apple and cranberry gave the tart a sourish tart flavor that contrasted so well against the warm sweetness of the custard. It was probably the best dessert I've ever had in the plane. At this point, it was time for bed. The flight attendant came over after dinner and asked if I wanted my seat to be turned into a bed. It was 2.30 a.m., so the only answer I could have was yes. So Virgin Atlantic seat actually folds down into a bed, so they actually take advantage of that, and the flight attendants offer turndown service, which is when they make your bed for you, which is a treat on a plane, obviously, and it made for better cabin photos because of how they're trained to do it. So of course I obliged, and this is how she folded my bed. I also had the opportunity to change into the pajamas that Virgin Atlantic had offered me. They were comfortable, and I loved them. All right, peace, sweet dreams, and good night. While I'm asleep, let's go through some of the items I didn't have the chance to go through during the actual filming process. The first thing I missed was the Herschel amenity kit. It featured eye shades, a, a dental kit, and a few rituals amenities and socks, but no slippers. The second thing I left out were the headphones. They were pretty high quality, but not as good as my Bose headphones, which I ended up using instead. The last aspect of the flight I forgot to film was the in-flight bar. I actually wanted to film it at the end of the flight, but because of a small medical mishap, uh, it was used as a workspace, so I didn't get to film it, which is fine because uh, the patient ended up being alright. The bar was a nice space to socialize, work, and hang out. However, if I had the choice, I'd probably call it a lounge instead because all the drinks are self-serve and it's basically just a more of a lounging area than it is a full-on self-serve bar. For example, Emirates Bar is different because you actually get served drinks at the bar whereas here, uh, it's kind of more self-serve and it's more of just an open space where you get to socialize. Still though, it's a very nice space to have on the plane. Alright, so I had my, I had a pretty good sleep, the back of the seat was a little hard, so um, that's apparently something that the airline's going to change. And <laughs> I woke up, I worked for a while at the bar, and I didn't bring my GoPro with me because um, I woke up and I forgot. So, here's my breakfast, here's a big bunny, and here's a toasted English muffin with a scrambled egg. And that's a cranberry muffin. It all looks good. We'll see if it tastes as good as it looks. Alright, this is better than I expected. Uh, the bun is very light. It's um, very buttery inside. And the bacon flavor is coming through. This is a good dish. This is a, not a good dish. It's a good sandwich. They served it with some brown sauce, which I ticked off on a breakfast card that I had to fill out. It smells quite bitter, but that's, that might contrast against the bacon pretty well. I'm assuming brown sauce is something that, um, it's very popular in London, and we probably call it something else back in Hong Kong. Yep, as I expected, very vinegary and very delicious. Now it's time to try the English muffin. It smells really good. The scrambled egg is creamy, and I um, can't really taste the muffin because of the scrambled egg, so I'll taste that on its own. It's quite nice as well. Really. The last thing is a blueberry muffin. I'm not sure what I was doing ordering so many carbs uh, early in the morning, but well, here I am. I might as well give this a try while I'm at it. <laughs> Dang. This is pretty delicious. It's got a crusty outside. The inside is moist. Well, I guess I have no choice but to finish it. So I'm sorry I couldn't get much footage on this flight. It 
It's been a great flight in Virgin Atlantic. The service has been awesome. I'll talk more about it in my video report since I couldn't get much footage since I didn't have any of my gear. Alright. Um see is lackluster, but we all know that. And we're about to descend to London Heathrow, so hopefully I get to fly upper class again sometime. But I'll be spending a return flight in the economy and we'll see how that works. Yeah, so despite the lackluster seat, the food and service in this flight were great and it was great to have the in-flight bar and it still slept really well. So the flight couldn't have gone any better. So it's safe to say that I had a really good flight in Virgin Atlantic's upper class and despite the herringbone configuration, I would not hesitate to fly them again. So thank you for watching my review. My text review is up on the link and also in the description box below. And give me a subscribe and hopefully I'll come up with more video reviews in the future. Thanks for watching and safe travels.